Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a little bit of a roundup of my absolute favorite products to boost up glow in the skin. These are specifically serums, toners, and oils that are targeted towards dry, dull skin. So as someone that has pretty dry skin, these are products that I run to whenever my skin is feeling really dry and really, really dull. I do wanna make a really quick announcement about something that I'm doing on my channel as of recent. Um, if you watched Saturday's vlog, I did talk about this, but in case you didn't watch that video, I'm letting you know that I'm going to start doing more product ingredients evaluations. And the way that it works is that all you have to do to participate is comment in the comment section down below with whatever product you're curious about. And by product, I mean skincare product. And what I'll do is at the end of the video in the future, I will pick any one comment from a video and I will evaluate the ingredients of that product. I'm not gonna go out and buy and review that product Product because it takes me months to test products and I'm kind of trying not to spend money on skincare right now so a nice in-between that I figured would really work for both of us is um, you guys can comment with whatever products you're curious about and then I can do a really quick ingredients evaluation to let you know whether or not I would personally buy it like I said super easy to participate all you have to do is comment down below with a skincare product that you're curious about and in a future video I will talk about it and now on to the video so when you have really dull dry skin a really simple fix can be in incorporating an oil into your routine. I have a new oil that I want to talk about because honestly, it's been rocking my world lately. This is a Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil, and I love rosehip seed oil. This is no secret. I have used it for years on my skin from different brands, and it is just such an amazing oil because it's really lightweight, making it really suitable for a lot of different skin types. So although I may have quite dry skin, um, my sister who has oily skin also really likes rosehip seed oil. This is one of the best textures to use in my opinion if you are a little bit picky about the textures that you have on your face because rosehip seed oil is higher in something called linoleic acid which makes it a much lightweight feeling oil compared to a much heavier oil that is higher in oleic acid. I actually did a video a while ago all about finding the best oil for your skin type or your skin concerns and so I will link that video down below for you to go watch. But yeah, adding an oil to your nighttime routine can really boost up glow in your skin and give your skin a little bit of extra something to go off of. Now, like I said, rosehip seed oil is quite a lightweight oil, but if you're looking for something a little bit richer and a little bit heavier, my favorite oil for that purpose is the Visviva Retinol and Frankincense Restorative Oil Serum. Uh, this is just like a little travel size because I ran out of my full size bottle and I figured I would use the travel size because I'm not traveling anytime soon, so I'm not saving this for anything. But this is a gorgeous oil. The two primary oils in this are macadamia seed oil and squalene. And so squalene is quite a well-balanced oil, so it's not super rich and it's also not super lightweight. Um, but macadamia seed oil is higher in oleic acid, so it is quite on the you know more richer, heavier side, which can feel so nourishing and so delightful on super dry skin. This also contains cholesterol to help replenish the skin skin barrier because cholesterol is one of the components of the skin barrier. And this also contains an ingredient called boswellic acid, which is really, really important for reducing hyperpigmentation. So if you have dark marks left over from acne, if you have uneven skin tone, you know, using boswellic acid in an oil like this can really help to reduce the hyperpigmentation. So incorporating an oil can be a really, really simple fix that I think not a lot of people think to incorporate into their routines because it can sometimes feel a little bit counterintuitive to put an oil on your face when we're taught that you know oils are bad for skin and cause acne but in reality you know oils can be a really really essential part of your routine for boosting up moisture and boosting up glow and radiance i also think it's super important to incorporate serums that work synergistically together in order to promote brighter healthier skin so i'm kind of over like one note products like um specifically popularized by the ordinary because i just feel like they're kind of a waste like I feel like it's much better to use products that have ingredients that work synergistically I love that word synergistically <laughs> it's a lot better to buy products that have ingredients that work synergistically together in order to you know work in multiple different ways to promote healthy skin. So one of my favorite serums of all time that I think has a really gorgeous ingredients list and also has a really gorgeous experience of using this is the Visfiba Urea 5% and Niacinamide 5% Rose Water Serum. This is packed full of really beautiful hydrating and brightening ingredients. 
So the hydrating ingredients in here include urea and sodium hyaluronate and glycerin. These all work together really nicely to boost up hydration in the skin, which can be really essential if you have dry dehydrated skin, because if you have dry skin, obviously your skin is lacking in sebum and lacking in oil, but you know, dehydration can also be a result of having dry skin, because if you don't have that oily layer on your skin, something called transepidermal water loss can occur where water can leave your skin and your skin can feel quite parched and quite dehydrated. So incorporating something like this that has humectants in it that draw water to the surface of the skin and really plump up the skin visibly and bring a lot of water and a lot of hydration to the skin, that can be super, super important. It also contains niacinamide, which is one of my favorite antioxidant ingredients of all time. I always call niacinamide my little Swiss army knife because it does so many wonderful different things. So not only is it an antioxidant, it helps with free radical damage, it also helps with hyperpigmentation. So like I said earlier, if you have dark spots from acne or if you have dark spots from I don't know picking at your skin or sunspots um, niacinamide can really help to reduce that hyperpigmentation and then also niacinamide is great because it boosts up ceramide production in the skin so it helps with the skin barrier to become a lot more healthy so this has been one of my favorite serums for a long time and I will continue talking about it because it is that good Another ingredient that I think is really important to look out for is an alpha hydroxy acid. And my favorite AHA is the Crave Beauty Kalaluya. This has 5.25% glycolic acid and glycolic acid is actually in my opinion one of the best AHAs out there because it has the smallest molecular size which means that it can actually be a little bit more intense on the skin it gives you results faster and a lot more noticeable but in general alpha hydroxy acids such as glycolic acid lactic acid mandelic acid all of these acids are water soluble molecules that help to resurface the skin basically so there are many different types of AHAs out there but glycolic acid is my favorite because it has the smallest molecular size. So like I said earlier, I'm kind of over OneNote products and fortunately this is not one of those products that just has glycolic acid and maybe a pH stabilizer and a preservative and maybe a humectant. This actually has a lot of good stuff in it. It has kale, spinach, parsley, aloe, glycolic acid, obviously hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, and all these ingredients work really well together to deeply hydrate the skin, which can be really, really important for dry, dehydrated skin. And it also has antioxidant activity. So overall, this is just such a beautiful product. I really cannot recommend it enough. If you are new to acids, I actually would recommend this product from Cray Beauty because it is a lower percentage of glycolic acid and it has other nice soothing ingredients in it. It can really be nice to kind of ease your way into the world of aging. If you're going to use an AHA, I strongly suggest that you invest in a good sunscreen that you know you can over apply to really protect your skin because AHAs have the unwanted side effect of increasing photosensitivity on the skin, meaning that it makes the skin a lot more vulnerable to sun damage. So you really should be wearing sunscreen and my favorite sunscreen for boosting up glow is the COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. This is such a gorgeous sunscreen. I have so many videos now of myself putting the sunscreen on and showing you what my skin looks like. So if you're curious about how it looks on the skin, um, just watch any of my Saturday vlogs. I have tons of videos demonstrating this product. Even though during this time of you know quarantine, we're spending more time at home, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're spending less time outside because I don't know about you, but I go on walks, I go on runs, I garden now. And so protecting my skin is something really important and I have been reaching for the sunscreen all the time. What's really nice about the sunscreen is that it has not a matte finish, but it has a very moisturizing feel to it. So I actually don't feel the need to go in with a moisturizer in the morning. I just apply a serum. I actually apply this serum every single morning from Vespiba, and then I go in with the sunscreen on top, and it's actually enough moisture for me to last the entire day without making my skin feel really dry. So this is a really great sunscreen. The other really amazing sunscreen that I did want to mention is the Crave Beauty Beat Shield. I don't have it with me because I finished my bottle, but I will put a picture of it on the screen so you can see what it looks like. But that is also a really, really amazing sunscreen. It's also SPF 50 plus, and it also has the most beautiful, like glowy, dewy finish on the skin. It's not super, super dewy, like say the Josie Marin SPF 47, which I used to love back in the day, but it's also not not matte. So if you want something that straddles the line between dewy and matte, the Beach Shield from Crave Beauty is really, really perfect. 
So hopefully this video was helpful in introducing you to some products that I think will really boost up radiance and glow in the skin. As always, if you have any questions about any of the products that I talked about, then please comment them down below. And also if you want me to evaluate the ingredients of any product that you're curious about, then definitely comment those down below. And in a future video, I will get to it. If you wanna see the oily skin version of this video where I talk about hyperpigmentation, excessive oiliness, and pores, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below that you want to see it so that I know to film it. But with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. Have a beautiful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!